And so now I'm using Nokia 8.1 and I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So starting off, you want to connect to the internet. So go to the process till you, till you get stuck on the verification screen. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose my language, skip. From here, I'm gonna choose my network. Okay, now as you can see, there is a pattern to be verified. So I'm just gonna switch to the Google account. And as you can see, verify your account, so I'm stuck. So now what we're gonna do is go back to the first screen right here, and we're gonna change the language. So go down and choose this thing right here. You can see what I'm selecting right now. And from here, we're gonna progress again to the same screen that we just came from. And now, once you're actually here, you will select the field like you want to write and hold the globe. As you can see, there is a globe next to the space. From here, tap on the little blue wording right here to go to the settings. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, sometimes it kicks out. So be mindful of that. Let's do it again. I tap a little um, pencil like on there to rearrange them. Gonna drag this on top, like so. Okay. So once that's done, I'm gonna go back. Okay. Then tap on it. Go to the three little dots and right here. Okay. If you need a little if you need to check it, you can go back or pause the video so you can keep up. Um, so from here, um, tap on the about. So video on the page, you should have a video on YouTube. And uh, that's why we connected the internet before. So once you tap it, it will start loading and you will have this little clock icon. So from here, tap on it. And it will take us to Chrome. So tap on accept and no thanks. And now we're gonna search in the field on hard reset. So let's actually tap the, the globe again to change to English. And so I'm gonna type in hard reset dot info. As you can see, I'm gonna go there. Then tap on the little field up here and select download. And in the field for download, type in Android 8. Like so. And tap on search. As you can see, there is a download button, tap it. And once more, go down and tap the download button. Tap on continue and uh, basically the button on the right, which is allow, okay, and open. And here, it, it's basically a message to allow installation of unknown sources. So again, tap the one on the right and flip the switch over here and go back and install which is again on the right primarily everything that is accept or confirming kind of thing it's it's on the right so now again choose the right side it's open tap on google account management apk install and choose for version 6.0 and again, the same process of un allowing unknown sources. So flip it, go back, 
and install all on the right side. And uh, right here, once it installs, you will only have the option to press done or whatever. Well, it's the only button available. So once you tap it, it goes back to the application. And from here, you wanna tap on bypass FRP and then choose browser sign in. Yeah. And from here, tap on the three little dots up on the top and tap on this and confirm it with choosing the right side again and then select it and use your existing Google account to log in, the one that you wish to use. So I'm gonna put in mine. Okay, then tap on next. And now put in your password for this email. So I'm gonna do that off the screen. And once you have it, just tap the arrow that you have over there to proceed on. And now the process is finished, basically. So what you wanna do is now hold the power key. We're done with this program, so we need to reset the device. So hold the power key and choose this little like circular arrow right here. And now the phone will reboot. Now we can change to your desired language. So I'm gonna choose English. And then I'm gonna go through the setup of the device as normal. Now mind you, this is gonna be just a quick one. Um, because after the setup, we're gonna reset the device again to remove everything from the device. And once that is done, uh, there will be no more in account needed at all so i'm gonna tap on skip skip and as you just seen we could go through the entire process without any verification of any source so yeah now go into settings once you're on the home screen and gone through the setup Go all the way down into the system, I think, to reset events. Yep, there it is. Uh, so in system and uh, you have the reset options, tap on it and choose erase all data factory reset and confirm it by tapping reset phone and then erase everything. And now the phone will begin removing again all the personal data if well, there is not very many of it right at the moment. And once it's finished, you can go through the setup process of the device freely, setting up as you like it, putting in any kind of account and passwords and protections as you like. And the device will be fully unlocked at that point. So while this is doing, I'm, I will be back once it actually is finished. It might take a little bit, so just be patient. And as you can see now the process is finished and I'm gonna again go to the setup. So let's choose English again. As you can see, now we have the Google screen where you can put in completely new email. So, so again, I'm gonna put in 
you can choose whatever email you like so it's up to you okay so once you basically log in with whatever email you like um, you'll be at the terms and service of Google so tap on agree and you can proceed further on again you can turn certain things off if you like like localization or backup if you don't want it to backup or have it enabled you can also choose a fingerprint if you like set up screen lock just gonna choose one for now pattern then redraw the same pattern again And as you can see now the setup is completely finished and the device is fully unlocked and ready to use. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.